Right, well my package just came in today after a few delays unfortunately. It was supposed to be pushed on Friday, but then unfortunately FedEx delayed it till Saturday. And now it's Monday, December 20th. So here is the unboxing of the Lionel Redding caboose that goes with the T1. All right, let's do this. Yeah. Put in the smoke sack. I know how to do it. Hold on a minute, guys. I'm gonna, have to I'm gonna have to figure out how to do this. All right, so I put the smokestack in, and apparently it's actually a snap fit on there. So now it's no longer gonna come out. Let's get some close-ups of this. On All the right, track. so why did I buy this? Well, the main reason I wanted to buy this caboose was that this thing matches my Lionel 1989 Redding T1. Let's now take a closer look at the details of this caboose. Here's the front of the caboose. Here we have a very nicely detailed metal coupler. Then above it, we have some plastic chain detailing and brake detailing. Right next to it, we have a separately applied metal ladder. We have the walkway, which is, has safety tread on it. Then we have some very nice steps that go up to the walkway and some nice molded in grab irons on either side. Here is a look on the sides of the caboose. Here we have some very nicely crisp lettering right here and with the number down there. Now this caboose is a wood-sided caboose, which means in real life, these cabooses were made out of wood. So they put on this model the grain detailing as if, if this thing was made out of wood. Then we have the built by Lionel in 1989. Then we have some marker lights, but they do not light up. So here's a look on top of the caboose. Here we have some very nice wood detailing right here. We have a smokestack. Now, unfortunately, this thing does not have a smoke unit in it. Here's the top of the cupola. We have some very nice separately applied grab irons right here, but they're plastic. Then we have some windows right here. Now, inside the caboose, there's a bulb that lights up the whole thing. And behind the cupola, we have more wood detailing and the second separately applied metal ladder. Here is the back of the caboose. Now it looks pretty much the same as the front, but we do have some separately applied red marker lights on either side. And also on each side, we have some nice door detailing right here. All right, here is the caboose right behind the Lionel T1 and they make a really nice pair. So what I'm going to do now is that I'm going to run the caboose with the T1's freight train for a couple minutes. Anyways, that is it for now. This is Brendan's Trains, signing off.